people are at the heart of cybersecurity. And contribute to making the digital world a safer place. You will be embraced for who you are and what you are and what you stand for. Hi there. I spent most of my career in intelligence and criminal investigations uh, in the Netherlands, so I'm a spy by vocation. And I actually studied history and specialized in warfare, and yet I'm here in the cybersecurity sector. These are really exciting times in an equally exciting industry. We're dealing with two crises right now globally. There is a health crisis, as everyone knows, and there is a cybersecurity crisis that unfortunately not everybody is aware of. The economic damages of cybercrime and overall lack of security is comparable to those of the COVID pandemic. The threat is growing and diversifying at an unprecedented speed. The division of labor in cybercrime is increasing rapidly. And on the defensive side, the same is happening, but at a lesser speed, which is a risk in itself. We need to speed up. We need to get a step ahead instead of always being a step behind the bad guys. And yes, most of the bad guys are still guys. So, apart from all the no-brainer yet extremely important reasons to enhance diversity in our workforce, specifically in this sector, this is a matter of survival. We will lose this fight if we do not draw on everything we have in society and in ourselves to face this crisis and build secure systems, secure organizations. We need to lean on each other to build a secure society, and we need everything we have to do it. All forms of work and care in society boil down to really one thing, and that is spotting deviant behavior. We build systems and ways of working with a certain goal or functionality in mind. And we need to flag anything or anyone using it in another end, because that is the start of finding an incident. Cybersecurity is no longer the heroic solo hacker saving the world from his attic. It is the epitome of teamwork. This is a young sector in this ever-changing world, and change is our only constant. And that's what makes it so incredibly exciting. We have to constantly observe, evaluate, and apply new methods. And that is an engaging sport that requires all faculties. And I'm thrilled to find people from all walks of life in this sector. And please keep them coming. So let's talk about this, the need to enhance our diversity. And uh, I'd like to very much introduce my colleagues. Coming up next, Aid, Helen Rose, Lisa, Sanjay and Sue. I spent 25 years in the UK military, leading men and women in a range of physical environments, both in peacetime and on operations. Why is that important? Everything I've done in my life has been focused on making a difference. The military prepares you for most eventualities, often without you realizing it. When I finally hung up my uniform, I headed overseas to deliver strategic communications in East Africa and defense reform in the Middle East. Both new ventures, both challenging in their own ways. Collectively, how do these experiences help me now? Well, it's about diversity in all its forms. What I have done has given me a different perspective on the world around me. It has enabled me to understand people's motivations, to recognize their strengths, their weaknesses, and how these apply to what I do now. And people are at the heart of cybersecurity. So for me, working with customers is so much more than a simple transaction. It's the start of a relationship that I hope will ultimately make a difference. I spent eight years leading teams within the tech and cyber industries. My experience has largely been in driving new initiatives to transform the growth of global sales environments. So why does diversity matter to me? Well, not just because as a woman, I'm in an underrepresented group within the industry, but also because everything I'm passionate about in my work is underpinned by innovation, driving change, and encouraging people to thrive. But if we always hire the same profile, then we can only ever do the same thing. 
many businesses could benefit from challenging and broadening out their recruitment practices. A company that actively seeks diversity in candidates will also have access to a wider talent pool, attract the very best talent and ultimately stay at the forefront of innovation and change. Three years ago, I had an opportunity for a career move becoming a service delivery manager within the cybersecurity industry. My limited understanding of cybersecurity jargon, buzzwords and acronyms was evident during my interview. However, a cyber background was not essential to my role as there would be plenty of opportunities to learn on the job. It does not matter what background you have, what age you are and what skills you have. If you are determined to join the cybersecurity industry, there are plenty of opportunities to explore. The apprenticeship route is ideal. Although there is so much to learn, the beauty about it is you are not alone. You will be embraced for who you are and what you are and what you stand for, including all of your quirks and diverse ways of thinking, not just academic qualifications. I know it's a cliche, but my personal experience has confirmed the cybersecurity industry really is one big family. I now get to help with on-the-job learning for apprentices joining the family. For me, there is a real sense of fulfillment and excitement on a daily basis, and I've never once looked back. Over three years ago, I was the head of computer science, leading a team and teaching young, inquisitive 11 to 16 year olds information technology. As the curriculum changed from IT to computer science, I was reminded of my passion for problem solving and my love of supporting people and a desire to make a difference. I set out on my journey, determined to work for the cybersecurity industry. This was exciting yet scary as I'd worked in the education industry for 12 years and I questioned if I would have the skills. I joined Capture the Flag competitions, won a scholarship and joined the Cybersecurity Challenge UK programme and I learned technical skills and built a network of people in the industry and there are a lot of people willing to connect and offer advice. I built up my confidence and realised that the industry has opportunities for all backgrounds. The skills I use in education have been useful in my role. For example, good communication skills allowing me to explain technical solutions to non-technical audience. My passion, dedication and determination led me to be fortunate to gain a technical role within NCC Group where I work with a team of very talented people, learn something new every day and contribute to making the digital world a safer place. I did it and you can do it too. I've spent my entire professional career in client management roles in the technology sector. I've always been fascinated how technology impacts every part of our lives and consequently exploring how I can help organisations to work more securely in delivering their services. I don't have a technical background and I have never coded in my life, but I do thrive on building trusted relationships, overcoming challenges and problem solving with both customers and colleagues. I'm driven by ensuring excellent service delivery and seeing the positive results and outcomes for my clients. These soft skills are important qualities because they demonstrate to clients our ability in working partnership with a trusted team of individuals. This helps them understand the scale of their cybersecurity challenges, often in non-technical business language, and then delivering the effective solutions to support them in keeping their environment safe and secure. It just goes to show not everyone in the cybersecurity world needs to be a technical wizard or coding expert. So, to sum it up, if everyone's the same, chances are their opinions are the same and the solutions they come up with are the same too. And we need all the creativity we can get that the diverse perspectives can bring. Digital systems are a part of our critical national infrastructure and keeping them secure and resilient is more vital than ever. Improving diversity and inclusion is crucial to the cybersecurity sector. Thank you.